watch this, no man, no woman, no boy or girl. We have some folks who is about to receive a promotion. But then you have a bad man co-worker. Well, go to the boss. Go to the supervisor. And cook up some story. And then you get a letter saying sorry. But you are no longer considered for the position. But can I tell you this? That you have a God where him decides to bless you. I don't care for Peter, Paul, or John. Nobody can turn but God hand. He said, my word shall not return unto me, Lord. If God say you bless, you bless. Watch this now. I don't have to have a million dollars to feel like I've got a million dollars. Oh God, is, is the church with me? I don't have to be delivered to act like I'm delivered. You see, some of us fail to understand this. Let me talk about me just for a bit. There are some things that we end up with in our lives that we just don't deserve it. Anybody ever been there where you're just questioning yourself and say, God? You ever just look for some things in your life? Sometime and just say, like JPS, how come? Are, are you with me, somebody? You're trying to figure it out. You can understand it. Now, when I look at a boy like me, who did in a gang and up and down, curse and drink, and look at my wife, I say, How come? Because you can't see how it works out. And you all know from about two weeks ago. When she spoke and we let out the cat out of the bag, we tell you the type of man where she did one. Yes. Because you sisters don't love having a listen. Yes. We did man where Paul finished. She wanted a man where tall, dark, and handsome. That gave a man where short and anointed. God, Lord, God, Lord, God, Lord, God, Lord, God. Watch this now. We tell her the last week that so she didn't want a singer. But, and a teacher. But God said. You see, God has a way of flipping the script. Watch this. Let me talk about this just a bit. Because of our situation with the car that I had. I said, God, your sister, we need space. But the car was too small. Sometimes to come to church, I tell you that poor little blue car, it this. Trust me. Not only bless him, I tell you it's strong. In Sister Tamisha. All right. Sometime when we wind up that window, if police ever stop, we are looking inside of that car. And see how much people are in that little car. So here's the thing. We never have the first dime to buy a new car. But the reality is I have a currency which runs heaven with them feet. So, the same fate that caused me to go into an unfinished house when I didn't have the money and make sure that so I claim that house in a Jesus' name without a dime. 
Six years later, we're still living in that house. So, when I needed a vehicle, not for show off, but for the ministry, I said, God, we need something here. Sir. And I stepped out by faith. And when I saw a vehicle that I wanted, I tried to open some doors myself. You see, God have a way now of turning the closest person you have to you away. God have a way of turning and closing the doors that you know that should be open. God have a way of just shutting them in your face. And so when I wanted that vehicle, and every person I turned to for assistance, can't help. And so I got a deadline by the time the beak was to be sold. I'm very small. When I saw the time was going, I made not get the money yet. Anxiety kicking. And I start to feel bad. I mean, I said, well, I look how hard me I work. I look how me faithful. I me mean, I ask no one if he confess. Me, we confess to Udo. He said, God, look how hard me I work. I look how me faithful. I want me want a fear work. And you now I'm up the door them. I'm the vex. And the night as I was laying on my bed, which was the night before the vehicle went away, the Lord came to me and asked me one question. God said to me on my bed, Who is in control of your life? I was embarrassed. And I had to stay on the bed. I repent. I beg God to forgive me. Because what I wanted, when I saw it slipping away, my feet started to dwindle. But somebody said, do over. over. Somebody said, do over. over. My God, when I decided in my mind that God, I will never allow this to happen to me again. And praise God Almighty, the moment when I set my heart right, there's a gentleman who was on our website. Praise God Almighty. And the vehicle that he was selling, praise God. The vehicle that he was selling, as soon as somebody see it, he gone. Because they want them very hard there in high demand. And God allowed that man to put that vehicle on that site for nearly two weeks at double the cost of the vehicle. In case you don't understand how strategic God is, because it's two times the price, everybody will see no one thing. Are you, are you with me, somebody? And when I went to the man, I said to him, so you are going. See, you have a vehicle there, you don't know what to do. And we see you have a price, man, but we know the price on the right. The man said, so you mean say price on the right? He said, go check it, man. The man said, my God, me never know so that me put pony. <laughs> So watch this now, no? I never have a dime in my pocket. But in my back pocket, I have faith. So watch this now. Because faith is the substance of things. And it is the evidence of things. I said to the man, I'm coming to have a meeting with you tomorrow. And I walked over to that man. Let me a big shot. So I say, yeah, I come to see the vehicle and after I give me the tour. I say, boy, it look good. Like it's on. Body look good and everything. I say, yeah, what go? I don't have no money now. I 
to say me not have no money. But me want the vehicle. The man look on me and rightfully so. He look at me as if I was a madman. And it's true. Because when you have faith, it means that you're mad. I said to him, he said, I have three persons. If you come tomorrow, come look on the vehicle. I said to him, say, you have one. I don't know how it's going to work out, you know. But I want the vehicle here. So may I ask you to work out something now. Whatever I'm going to work out, I don't know how I'm going to work it out. But I said, why you work out something? No. The man said, why? He can't really do that you know, because he married. And you know how wives are. <laughs> So I said, here I go on, Papa. Work out something. Next day, I get a call from the man. Here the man say, no, I never go to him and say, I'm pastor this, I'm pastor that, you know. Just go to him and talk to him now, man. The next day, the man call me and say, why? You know, so one of the man come here this morning, and say, one of the vehicle. And he's going to pay me down a certain, certain amount of money for right now and give me the rest by even. And I say, I don't know why you But something about you, I don't know why. He <laughs> said, I don't know why, but there's something about you, my youth. Him say, I tell the man, say, my cousin want the vehicle and I don't bother sell it. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. The time while I was walking by faith, God was opening a door. That I didn't see because it is a fair door. Yeah. And so out of nowhere, I get nearly three quarters of the money. And give to him. Now, three quarters don't mean say everything done. The real challenge now is that I decide that I'm going to sell my vehicle for the balance. And missionary, I had that vehicle up on all different type of websites. Yeah, man, Facebook, you say, you know my business. I have it up on different websites and all oh, this sell of my traps. Listen, I, I take that vehicle from up to down in order to sell it. And nobody would not buy the vehicle. Watch this now, no? When it reached the point where the time that the man gave me was almost over watch this i have the car up and dozens of websites for nearly three months and the car now sell but one day i decide to come to fasting service my god almighty as i normally do praise god and when i came to fasting service that person my god almighty and while I was in fasting service and, and we had service and, and while we were finished, I went inside the office, praise God. And as I was in the office, we get one call, praise God Almighty. I didn't know the number. And when I answered the phone, I heard somebody say, you, you, you have a car, praise God, that I see for sale is on the car, praise God Almighty. I wonder if we can get it to buy and how much for it. No, no, me never impressed because a couple of them, they call them again. Me say, anyway, such and such, want the money for it and yes if you want it such and such the person say so where are you them say I'm, I'm 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 in montego Bay. praise god the person say i'm standing outside right now looking at the car are, are you anywhere here praise god almighty watch this now watch this i 
after months of advertising, I went out there for say, all right, let me go see who I come waste my time now, my God Almighty. Can I tell the truth? Praise God Almighty. And as I stepped out there, praise God, and that lady started to look at the vehicle and she started talking. Now she started talking. The lady said, listen, praise God. God, I want to go to the bank right now to go find the money and give you in hand. Just slip by the car. My God Almighty, the truth is, you know when God opens some door sometimes, you really have to look again to see if the door open. Watch this. Uh, watch this. Uh, within 24 hours, uh, that car was sold uh, and I was able to buy uh, the vehicle that I got. Uh, am I talking to somebody? Uh, you see, God got away uh, of time things around Say God you turn a mess into a message Now the messenger arrive Committed to the journey so me now go backslide Looking through the spirit and the physical eyes Who to God me testify Go me at the work of God and the boss My whole life he endorsed Take me from the mud and put me in a air